Well, I'm doing a little bit of model prep here in the lab today before I measure these parts up. I've got some chair backs that are coming in today that are compression molded or thermoformed. Um, I forget how they were produced, but what I want to show you guys is that um, on the drawing, let me run down here to the drawing. Notice this, I've got kind of a plan view that shows the overall width of this chair. And it's pretty hard to see where that is being taken, but this 52349 is the dimension that I'm kind of looking for. So what I wanted to show you guys today is if I found the point that was on this side of the chair and I wanted to make that exactly the same point on this side of the chair, we can mirror that point over and extract it from the point cloud because I'll be scanning this. But what I want to show you guys today is how to model prep for that dimension and mirror a point around the axes of the trihedron here. So what I'm going to do, actually I've already done this. You can see in my model tree here that in my, in my drawing is called dimension one. Let me highlight that for you guys there. But that dimension one is made up of two points. But what I want to do is show you guys how I got to those points, okay? So let me turn this off and I'll turn on the right point. Okay, this dimension one point right is what I used to form that dimension. So let me put this into a plan view a second so it looks similar to the drawing. And then what I do is I just zoom right into here to find the widest point on this chair. And you can kind of see it is really close to right here. So that's the uh, the point. But what I did is I went up to here, this, uh, this icon here for creating points. And you can give it a name. Let's just do this as a, as a demo point. Um, and then I anchor it. When I anchor, I, uh, I get this little pencil here. You can click with your left mouse button. I'll do it right next to that point since I don't want to, uh, to change it. I'll click it right there. That's my demo point. Truly, that's not the, the farthest outboard point, but I'm just using this as an example because I found the point that was the farthest away there. So I'll close out of that a second. But now what I wanted to show you guys is that now Again, I'll use this dim one point that, that I've already got out there. But if I right click on it and I go to edit and then look at here at mirror. If I click on mirror, I've got a couple things here that I can adjust for the mirroring of this point. But what I'd like to do is keep the original point. So I'm going to click on this dialog box there and I like to, uh, to mirror around the YZ plane. You can see down in my trihedron here in the corner my YZ plane is going to be this plane here, which is the center line of the part. So I'll just hit apply here a second. And then I'm going to close that. I'll come here and I'm going to delete this point, this demo point that I put out there since I'm not using him. So I right click on him, edit, delete the object. Now notice down here in my model tree, I've got this dim one point right, number two. I'm going to quick take a right click and go to properties and I'm going to change the name a second. I'm going to call him the left. I'm actually going to spell left out since I've got him already out there. So apply and close and then I'm going to drag him up. So you'll notice I've already got that point created here but this is what I wanted to show you guys. This point is truly mirrored. So if I zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, way out I've got this point on this side of the chair that's been mirrored about the axes. Now notice the axes of this chair is right down the middle so that does seem to work out pretty good. It's down and through there. Alright so it works out great when this chair or this object is symmetrically opposite so I can mirror around that plane. So again if I look down here and I highlight dimension 1 so right click on him the dimension 52349, if I round up, that is the same as what this dimension is here. So once I laser scan this part, I'm going to extract those points out of the point cloud and then automatically this dimension will populate here. Mm -hmm. 